While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. The Most High God promised that he would raise his people back to the awareness of who they are in the last days before Christ comes and destroy, destroy this place. America ain't gonna live, be here forever. What, sure what kingdom was, was here and lasted forever? No. Babylon? No. Rome? No. Greece? No. This place ain't gonna last forever. No. And no. it's always been prophesied a place called Babylon the Great to be burned with fire. Each no. prophet went through that. So it's time to get ourselves together in these last days. Playtime is over. That's right. right. All right, read that. You witnessing prophecy at, at right now, live. Read. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 12. In verse 7, the Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first. So the tents of Judah are going to be raised up first. That's the so-called blacks. We start coming into the idea that we were the Israelites back in the 60s, back when back when you was running around here, you know, saying, doing your thing, your hate. It was out back then. But now it's, come, it's, it's raised up to a new level because as time increases, the, you, you can see the, what's going on in the world. War, wars and women's awards. We see that going on right now. That's been going on for years. So what happened to us and what we've been bringing out is that we've lost our heritage that God gave us because we, we didn't keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Bring it up. We went in sin and we still in sin today. True. All right? What, what, what do they call us? African American. Before that, 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 that was what, the 80s? Uh, before that, it was color. Before that, it was uh, uh, Negro. Negro. Yeah. Right. So who are we? Who are we? This is what happened. Deuteronomy 38. We lost, we lost our, our Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Let's explain why it all happened. Bring it up. This was prophesied uh, years, 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 hundreds of years ago that this would happen. That's how you know this is the true book. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it up. it shall come to pass. It's gonna happen. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now, this is Moses talking to the Israelites. He's saying that it's gonna happen be before this. When you read Deuteronomy 28 and 1 on down, you hear about the blessings that we would have being God's chosen people. Now he's telling us if we did not keep God's law, that these curses was going to overcome us and overtake us. Don't run off, dude. I got something for you. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If we don't keep the laws, instead of blessings, we're going to get curses. Yep. Our people are not, not keeping the laws today. Are we a blessed people or are we a cursed people? Cursed people. Yeah. We, 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 we blessed to be who we are, but we, we're dealing with curses. Look at our community. Because we ain't keeping God's law. Basic law, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Here's a law that you can start keeping today. You can go home and start keeping this law right away. Read that. Hey, brothers. This is one of the things that we walked away from, and this is, this is why God is punishing us now. Something as simple as this. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Is that simple, sis? Is that complicated? No. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what is that saying, sis? What is that saying? Read it again. The woman shall not wear. The witch pretended to a man. So it's saying, it's talking about dress code. It's saying the woman okay. shall not wear what pertains to a man. So a woman ain't supposed to wear what a man's supposed to wear right, right away. Okay. Right away, you know that's talking about pants. Right. That's a simple law. Right. Do we get judged for, for the clothes, for no. just what we wear? No. You say no. Let's read that. Uh, I mean, God gave us a dress code, and then somebody else came and gave us another dress code around 1968 when they started uh, pushing feminist movements and women's suffrage movements. Yeah. So we got to come out of uh, the ways we've been taught and come back to this Bible because this is what was taken from us. That's right. 
All right, we always talk about this hidden history and we don't know our history. We got to get back in tune with ourselves. Right. This is how we do that, this book right here. Right. All right, read that. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. Because something as little as the way you dress matters to the Most High God. Right. All right, we can't lean to our own understanding. There's always something deeper, you know what I'm saying, than, than what we think. Okay. All right, read this. Read. And it shall come to pass. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is when Christ returns. It's going to be a, a, a sacrifice. He's going to destroy these kingdoms that are, are reigning right now, and he's going to establish his kingdom on the earth. That's right. So everybody's saying, oh, I can't wait to sweet Jesus get, get back. But it's, it, he's coming back. Uh, it says in Matthew 10, I came not to bring peace, but it's war. So he's coming back. He's going to war with these nations that's on the earth because they're going to try to go to war with him. Right. All right, these nations don't love Jesus, the real Christ, the black Messiah. All right, read. That I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. It's clothed with what? Strange apparel. So a woman walking around in what a man is supposed to wear or, or pants, that's strange apparel. All right, and that was given to us by uh, by, by our people. If you, you were, uh, how old are you? If you don't mind me asking, if you, uh, when was your heyday? Around seventy, uh, the sixties and seventies. So you remember when that was in, when that was us here? Right. You remember when that trend started coming into play? Because I, I, before that, our women never wore pants. Right. Matter of fact, if you go back in time, you go back to the fifties or the forties. And you tell them that, hey, one day women gonna be walking around in pants, they'll laugh, laugh you to scorn. They'll look at you like you're crazy. Right. But look what happened. All right, they, tra they changed our, our dress code. We gotta come back to God's law because we know that that's where we went off. Right. So you understand what I'm, what I'm freaking out, sister? Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans with the Israelites. And I just showed a law that you can start keeping the day. Our women gotta come back to what God uh, gave us, the laws that he gave us. Our men got to come back to what God gave us. Right. All right, we got to come out of the way into the world. Give me that second I'll be back, bro, okay? You coming back? Yeah. You got a flyer? No. Get a flyer. So what's your nationality for? Uh, what's your nationality? Huh? You're, 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 you're a so-called Mexican, huh? So, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans with the Israelites. That's right. You, you are a so-called Mexican. You're from the tribe of Issachar. That's what's been hit. Did you know that blacks and, and Mexicans are the same people? That, that was never that was never taught taught to you. Good old divide and conquer. Because we are the Bible says that the, the, the children of Israel number as the sands of the sea. So they had to divide us and have us think that we were different. You see what I'm saying? That way we don't know that we are one nation. So this is what we're doing with this Bible in these last days. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Ye gather together, O nation not desired. The blacks and the Hispanics, we're the nation not desired. We're the nation not desired by, by uh, the powers that be. That's why we go through uh, the oppression that we go through. All right? So you, you think about the, the things that's going on with, with, with the so-called message. We deal with the so-called message. All right, first and foremost, your land was taken from you. The, if you look at the old map, Mexico extended all the way, almost to California somewhere. But through uh, war and colonialism, they almost pushed you off the map. And then they talk about building a wall and keeping you out of your own country that was given to you. Bring it on. I can go to the scriptures and show you where God gave, uh, you listen to this, God gave this uh, so-called country over here to the Native Americans and the Hispanics. The, Na the Hispanics and the uh, so-called Native Americans. And then they brought their brothers over here, the, so the, the so-called African Americans, over here and forced us to work this land. So that's what we bring it out. Read, read, read that again. Gather yourselves together. Yay! Gather together. O nation not desire. So we got to gather ourselves together. You hear that, bro? 
That's what we're doing. So gather ourselves together. Read. Read it. Verse, go. read it verse one. Gather yourselves together. Yay! Gather together, O nation not desired. So the twelve tribes, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're gonna gather together under Christ, under the true Christ. It was a black man that died for your sins. It wasn't a white man. They they fooled us with that image. Bring it up. They tricked us with that image. The by the, the Christ that we read about is a black man. Bring it up. And he died for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Read on. Verse 2. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass, as it shall, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. So God promised that he would gather his people together before he destroys this place, before the destruction. Because when Christ comes back, he's coming back for the Israelites. That's right. That's right. Everybody else who ain't, all the wicked is going to be punished. This place is going to be destroyed. So what, what, do you, you ever been to church? You read the Bible, you believe in the Bible? Uh, I just started going back to church. They're going to teach you, what do they teach you? That uh, a lot of these churches teach our people that God's laws are done away with. That all you have to do is have faith in Christ. And repent. And, and repent. Repent of what? Your sins. What, 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 what does it mean to uh, be in sin? Come on. Yeah, that, that's right. They, they, they take your money. Come on, come on over here and deal, brother. You know something. So they tell you all those they told, tell you all those things, but this is what we need to come back to. We need to come back to our heritage, our laws, statutes, and commandments. What you got? This is the book of first John, chapter three, verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is breaking God's laws. So you got, in order to repent, you have to know what laws that you are breaking. So you just learned about one now, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. You, 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 you breaking that law. You just learned about it. Now, now that you know, you can stop breaking that law. So, so you've repented of that one, that sin that you were in. All right. So, do they teach you uh, that you have to cover your head when the word is coming out? They don't teach you that. All right. So let's let's get that. You actually, when your head is uncovered and the word is coming out, you dishonor Christ. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Verse three. So that's Paul. Paul, follow me, because I'm following Christ. A lot of times they're. they're Act like Paul created his own doctrine, but no, he's a follower of Christ. Read. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So uh, the head of every man is Christ. Whatever Christ is about, that's what the men are supposed to be about. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. So that's the order. It ain't no 50-50. The head of the woman, the woman is, the man is supposed to be the head of his household. The man is supposed to be the leaders of his community. All right, read. And the head of Christ is God. Even Christ has a head, the Most High God. Verse 4. Christ. Every man pray or prophesy, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Who's the head of the man? God. Christ. And God. So it goes in order. So if your head is covered while we're going into these prophecies, you dishonor Christ. All right? So... It would behoove you to uncover your head while we're going into prophecy. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.